Madison took quite a while to set up her Domino's ride. And by the looks of it, she's about to break a wall. <laughs> it's funny how a small piece like that can damage something so much bigger, like a clock on a wall. Although we can't reverse time, I think we might not even need it in this case. Firstly, let's remove the actual mechanisms out of the broken clock. Search the house for an old, unused vinyl. You'll want to stick 12 domino pieces according to the number of dots. Insert the mechanisms through the back of the vinyl and connect the dedicated arrows. Now just set up the clock and hang it on the wall. Perfect, Madison. You managed to create a truly vintage clock. <laughs> Let's keep those dominoes moving, shall we? We're in math class and Emma is about to turn in her homework assignment. It all goes as planned until she has mixed up her exercise books for the gazillionth time. This is definitely not a good time to replace those numbers with the periodic tables. On the other hand, Noah has his materials all sorted out. An easy solution is to not have notebooks with the same covers. Grab your exercise book and separate the front and back covers. Spray some hot glue and place two big base Lego plates on them. Depending on the book, you might want to check the sizes first. Now, feel free to add round plate buttons around and personalize your book with text or symbol. Pi sign in this case will go perfectly with math. You might just want to add some glue to keep them intact though. Art class might need an abstract touch and a half-filled vial will go well with chemistry. No more hassle with these creative Lego exercise books. Jacob is watching his favorite late night show while fidgeting with his Lego toy. As you can see, it only took him a minute to lose the cowboy's hat, which disappeared somewhere deep into the void. Maybe he can just take one of those raspberries as an alternative. There we go, a red afro man. <laughs> I didn't know you had this red wig laying around. And what is the story behind the cotton mustache? <laughs> what is this tip you may ask? Honestly, I'm just as confused as you are. But they do look alike though. <laughs> Madison just can't take her eyes away from this dazzling fidget spinner. What do you think about it, Mrs. Doobie? I guess she's not into toys like this during class. Less playing, more studying, honey. Fine. Unfortunately, the spinner hype keeps haunting her, especially when looking at those old and broken oil pastels. For starters, you will need some powdered corn starch. Put loads of silicone and mix it all up. It will get messy, so better have your gloves on. Now you've got a white lump. Press the fidget spinner deep right into the soft bulk. Remove it carefully out and let the mold dry. Using a utility knife, disassemble the center gear of the spinner and keep it ready for later. Back to the mold, cut the inner fringe parts. You don't really need those holes in there. Now insert the gear where it's supposed to be and get the crayons ready for some action. Choose whatever colors you like and put them inside a small pot in order to melt them. This liquid will fill the mold. Watch that spinner forming up. Let it cool for a bit and remove it carefully. There you have it, a functional spinny crayon. Use different color combinations in order to fill up the whole color palette. Finally, Madison can spin the wheel during class without the teachers bugging. Buenos dias, Mrs. W. Most likely, those will be the only Spanish words in Madison's dictionary. <laughs> well, hello there. It's that time of the month. Time for some deep house cleaning, Jacob. Who could have known that a fallen book would point out this box filled with nostalgic memories? Wow, these soldier figurines are just too cool. No way, is that you, Jacob? That's so cute. Jacob is going down memory lane, back to when he would have a blast playing with these plastic soldiers. Those were the good old days. I think we should go full Toy Story mode on this hack. Let's start with a bunch of plastic soldier figurines. You'll need to grab a frame, take out the back and hot glue the plastic piece to it. Do it for Crafty Panda. Now go ahead and be generous with the rest of the pieces. Our soldiers need to stick together. Literally. K 
camouflage them with some spray paint for some extra shine. Just redo an ancient photo and you'll have yourself a 10 year challenge right there. Amazing job! You managed to bring those figurines back to life. This playful frame does make the picture stand out. Oh, wow, Emma, your room looks like it was hit by a hurricane. <laughs> You've been postponing cleaning up, haven't you? Well, you can't make it any worse, right? Oops, spoke too soon. Step one, pick the mess up off the floor. Step two, get distracted by the spacey looking hand soap. Step three, come up with an idea to postpone organizing even longer. This soap does look like space though. You'll just need a bottle of liquid soap and a pair of tweezers to store your Lego pieces inside. The thick liquid will keep your pieces in place as if they're floating in the air. The force is strong in this one. Now just screw the lid on and it's ready. It looks like Emma is done with her chores and it's time to clean her dirty hands. This is our chance to try out our new accessory for the first time. Perfect! Our customized hand soap is just what we needed to add some color to the sink. Guys, just don't let the empire strike again. I have a feeling here our friend is munching on something he shouldn't be munching on. And on the other side, Jess just finished doing her laundry and the broken handle is preventing her from putting her clothes back in place. Hey, so what is her dog up to at the moment? Give it back, you little rascal. Oh wow, he really tore up that dinosaur piece. Don't be mad, Jess. He might have just given you a great solution to fix your cupboard instead. Good boy, we'll be right back. Let's start by cutting the dinosaur in half using a utility knife. For now, let's just focus on one half. Grab a bowl and rolled ball of baking paper. Go ahead and squish it inside the bowl. We'll use it to keep the piece neatly in place. Fill the hole with some hot glue. Be generous and fill it all the way up to the top. After a minute cool down, lay down the piece on a sheet of baking paper and spray some paint on top. Just shine like a diamond. Wait for the paint to dry out and go ahead and hook it up as a handle. That's it. All the cupboard handles have been redesigned. They look really playful. And even the hangers look great. From now on, you can pretty much handle anything, Jess. <laughs> Emma is organizing a board game party. And the best way to destroy friendships is to start with Star Wars themed Monopoly. Somehow the whole box is unorganized and we're missing the actual board. This is definitely not a good way to start the game. Bam! The poster frame just fell off. This is totally not going as planned. Oh hey, look at that, here's our Monopoly board. It looks like we're back in business. Hmm, they kind of go quite well together, don't you think? Let's lay down the frame and remove the old picture. Take out the glass and place the board game there instead. Put the glass cover back and flip it over. We'll stick a couple Velcro pieces on and set it aside for a minute. Meanwhile, we fill the zipper bags with all the figurines, dices, and cards. Zip it up and attach it to the Velcro pieces. Next time you feel like playing a game, Simply detach it from the wall and it'll be ready to play in seconds. Not only is it fast to play, but it looks tidy as well. This board game party is banging, Emma. Jacob is spending some quality time with his figurines. Aren't you a bit too old to be playing with dinosaurs? I'm sure there are more important things you could be doing. Boys, they never grow up. Hmm. These two items do go well together visually, though. Come on, Emily. I'm sure you can prevent them from going extinct. All right, let's grab a precision knife and cut out the back top of the dinosaur. 
don't worry, most of them are just empty shells. Go ahead and give it a new paint job. Make a paper funnel tube to securely slide some soil inside. Just give it a little shake. Whoopsies. Clean up on aisle five. Now grab the plant pot and take out the tiny piece together with the root. It's time for the little guy to get a new home. Voila! The dinosaur got a new lively shell. You'll just need to water it once in a while. I wonder how Jacob is going to react to this. Oh no, Emily, did you use them all? No worries, Jacob. She saved one just for you. Go ahead, we won't judge. Amazing, Emily. Thanks to you, these dinosaurs will live another day. All of them look quite cute and playful. Hey, Crafty Pandas! I hope you enjoy these recycling hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.